everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I was watching a craft show on last week and they were sharing the tissue paper technique where you let the tissue paper colour bleed. So tissue bleeding, bleeding tissue, I'm not entirely sure. It will be in the title anyway. But it reminded me of what I'd done in school. So I'd done this, I think, as early as primary school. Um, again, I'm not going to say any names, but they were kind of making it out as if it was like a brand new thing. And it's not. This has been going for decades. You basically just buy cheap tissue paper. Don't go out and spend loads of money. I picked up this tissue pack from B&M and it was $1.99. You want the cheap stuff on the back of the packaging. Just read it. And if it says this may run or there may be colour run, buy it. So you saw all the colours that I had there and I was going through and just cutting all of these strips. So I've just got this variety of colours and this particular pack from B&M is really good because the colours are, you want real bright colours to start with because obviously you do lose a lot of colour when you do this and they come out much lighter. Um, I guess different cardstocks may have different results. I'm using a smooth cardstock here and it's 300 GSM so it can absorb enough water without really warping heavily. But you want, I go, you know, try it out. If you've got pastel colours, they will work, but you'll get a very, very light um, effect, which will look lovely as well. So you can see there, I filled up my page with lots of different strips and really saturated it with water. So I put loads on. You can see there, some bleed more than others. That red's really bled into the yellow there. And then with my heat tool, tool <laughs> I'm just going over and heat setting it until it blows off. Now you don't have to use a heat tool. You can just let it dry naturally. Obviously it would just take a little bit longer, but you can see there now the color and the effect that I get and it gives you really fun backgrounds. Now you can reuse what you have just, you know, taken off. You can wet it again and you'll get more color, but it will be much, much lighter. So if you don't want to throw it away and you want to get even more cards out of it, then by all means do so. So now I'm going in with another style. So again, I'm just using the strips. And this one I'm going for just greens and blues. And every time I lay a strip down, I add more water to it as well, just so it's obviously, you know, really bleed the colour. This one, it doesn't matter if you, you know, the paper gets a bit ripped. It doesn't matter. It just, it doesn't matter. It's such an easy thing. I think this is why it's done in schools. And it's why I done it when I was younger, because it's a great one for children. You know, they can get messy and there's no right or wrong. And the effects see there, I just ripped it and it doesn't matter. You just lay it back on top again. So this is just using all the strips and just building up. And I just cut lots of, this was six by four. So I cut it just under six by four because then they're going to go on six by four cards. And these are all going to be thank you cards. I needed just a bulk of thank you cards. I always like to drop one in when I do any commission work. Um, and just to, yeah, just to thank people. Obviously it's what thank you cards are for. So this one, my heat gun had been overused. So I was waiting for it to cool down. So I just took that to one side just so it could kind of sit there and I could carry on. So now I'm doing another one and this time I'm going to go again with the stripes, but on the diagonal and bring in just different colors that I've not used yet. So the reds, the purples, and I was really hoping out for, you know, a real kind of deeper color with these ones. I think this one I'm laying down now bled particularly well. It just, yeah, the, the pigment in that one must have just been really, really strong. So again, I'm just going over my heat tool now. It takes a few minutes, but there you can see. And I did, I got a much deeper kind of bleed from the color with this one, more so than all of them, I think. And um, you can see there just how how rich those colors are. And it's really fun. And I love all the detail. You look closer there. I like all the little cracking just the faded parts. It's just, it's really, really nice. So now I'm thinking, thinking away, what am I going to do this time? So I had loads going. I think in the end, I must've done about 20 backgrounds. I just spent the afternoon, again, just really playing around, got in a mess. Now all of this wipes off. So afterwards I just sprayed my um, self-healing mat there. And then I just sprayed it with a little bit of uh, surgical spirit as well. And that just got it all off. Now look at this one. The red against the yellow and the blue looked brilliant. And again, I'm going over the top, really making sure that's really, really wet. And uh, yeah, you'll see that one shortly. So now I'm coming in and I want to do uh, some different shapes. So I'm folding the card, the cardstock, <laughs> folding up the tissue paper. And then I'm going to be running this through my die machine with my circle dies. Now you can do any shapes. You can do stars, squares, rectangles. You could do some flower shapes, anything you want. I'm just really doing some basic ones right now because I was kind of reminded of this 
technique and I thought I'm just going to do some simple bits first and then I can just go back to it whenever I want. So there's loads of layers on this but because it's my dye machine it, and it's tissue paper it cuts really well. So they come out solid like those three sizes and then you have to really kind of pick them apart and I was just kind of rubbing them between my my thumb and finger there just to break them all up. So I ended up with loads I must have had maybe a few hundred once I go through all the colors and you can see here I've got loads so I've got my large medium and small and now I'm doing exactly the same again but this time using the circles and creating some fun backgrounds so it's really good if you want to create backgrounds you know for kids because I think they're really fun but also if you want to do ones you know a load of guys ones and you can just pull out all the colors that like, maybe that person really likes and just do loads that way and again vice versa if you're doing maybe some invites you imagine you get all the colors in the tissue paper for that particular themed party it might even be a wedding you know you could make some really lovely um, invites doing this technique for your backgrounds and you can see there just how nice that's come out so that was keeping more of a white background and just having these as the kind of pops of color so now I'm coming in again with these uh, circles here larger ones and again just playing around with different different ways really different mixes of color I wasn't I never knew what I wanted to do each time I just was just playing around and just having some fun with it so now I'm coming in with these darker purples again and um, I filled this one up quite a bit and there's the green that I've added in again I'm just popping that to one side because I was overworking my heat tool and then this one I'm bringing in I think this was the one that I just do lots of just blue with this one and again, it looks really nice and it's just really easy and you could do this actually as a, at a kid's party, you know, have a crafty party and, and let the kids kind of all make their own little cards and stuff. So I actually ended up putting a bit more on that one, actually, oranges and the yellows and the greens. So again, they all turn out really, really nice. Then this one, I just had all those circles left over and I did put some in a bag, but I thought, oh, I'm going to just shove loads on a A4 piece of watercolour paper. So I just dumped them all on there, added tons and tons of water. And then, yeah, again, just experimenting, really, see how it, this all works together. You can see in the centre there, see some of them already starting to bleed. So I think what happened here, as you can see, is the bottom turned out really well. And then the top, I think I rushed it and I didn't give it time. So I went back in with the wet pieces and put them back on again. Because so I thought that, like I said before, you know, you can still get some colour out of them. So to the left there are all the used ones already. You can see I've got a clump there that's stuck together. So just add them back on. And then another way that you can take them off is by rubbing them off. You do sometimes get some of it, the colour rubbing with it, but not not you can see here it hardly at all um that's just another quick way to take it off is just by rubbing it off so try heat setting it try letting it dry naturally and try rubbing it off as well because they all do give different results and you can see there i end up using a, a part of that i don't use the whole thing but so now i'm making up my cards so as like i said these are all thank you cards so i've got thank you so much and then thanks very 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 much so I've just got my stamp positioner here. I've cut them down slightly to just under, like I said, the six by four. And using my Versamark here, I'm just going, Versafine, sorry, just going through there and just stamping really nice deep black sentiments on the front. And um, you can see just how lovely they've all come out and how quick this was. I mean, I guess it took me time to actually cut all of the tissue paper out and stuff but the technique itself so quick and easy and you can see there all those toppers that I've got now to go onto my cards and they look so fun I love those ones I think they look really really good they're like bubbles and then there's my stripes and the ones I done at the beginning and there's just so many great techniques so I think there's something for everyone you know choose the colors that you enjoy the most and um, I hope you agree they give you really really fun backgrounds and really easy to do so there's all my cards now and I will go and stick them all down with a nice little white frame. Lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tissue paper bleeding technique. Have a go at it. Like I said, you can't go wrong. It's a really simple thing to do. It's a little bit mixed media-ish. So you can, you know, use it with that as well as that if that's what you do. But I um, I think they create really fun backgrounds. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Share them over on Mix.Crafters Facebook group. And I will be back on Sunday with a scrapbook layout. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.